Welcome back to the Outdoor Retailer Show here at the Salt Palace. Huge event. I'm exhausted walking <laughs> yeah. around. I've got my good shoes on though, kind of, not really. They're flip flops, but they work to get me around. I'm with Kate, who's with Nemo Equipment here, and we were walking past, and all of a sudden my camera guy's like, Jen, check this out. We're going to show you the coolest tents you've ever seen here in just one second, but first we want to start with your pole tents. Okay. Um, Nemo, we've been around since 2002, and we started selling about five years ago, so we're relatively small. 13 of us out of Nashua, New Hampshire, and uh, we've been growing really fast. We've been really fortunate to get a bunch of awards over the past couple of years, and we make traditional pole tents, mountaineering tents, uh, tents that use trekking poles for support, and then really what sets us apart from everybody is our air-supported technology, and there are low-pressure air beams that you use a foot pump or a hand-and-mouth pump to inflate. We're actually going to have you demonstrate that for us in one second. Tell okay. us more about your pole tents, because you do have the tents people are very well aware of um, mm -hmm. and know how to set up. Yeah. Um, well, most recently we came out with the trekking pole line. We try to look at what's out there, and we won't bring another tent to market unless we know we can do it better and add some different design elements. So we started with a trekking pole tent, and um, it won an Editor's Choice Award from Backpacker this year based on the fact that there was no compromise with this trekking pole structure. It was sturdy in high winds and in bad weather. It uses a, um, a really lightweight but non-breathable fabric, so it's waterproof but not breathable, and a lot of lightweight tents do that. Yet we have so many ventilation options with two full mesh doors, vestibules that can roll back on both sides, and guy outside vents. So you had so much ventilation that condensation's not an issue, and the poles are really sturdy, and the inside is really large. So it's no compromise and it has just really cool design effects so you don't find in other tents. Kate, you guys are small and new, but mm -hmm. what is it that really makes your company unique or sets you apart from the other guys? Absolutely the air supported technology. Um, it's our patented technology and it uses low pressure air beams for support instead of a traditional aluminum pole. Now this is one reason why I would go camping. <laughs> when I usually go camping it's like, I'm fine to stay in a tent, but to yeah. set it up I'm like, have fun, boys. Yeah. Now, I will actually pump up yep. the tent. This is so cool. We want to actually walk over this way. Yeah. We're going to show you how small this tent is as well. It packs up. I mean, it's just, look at this. That's your tent. Yep. Yes, I will carry the tent. <laughs> From now on, yes. I will carry it. I used to say absolutely no. I would rather die than carry the tent in. Absolutely. I mean, this is our uh, one person. It's really kind of like a one and a half person. You could easily squeeze two people if you really like each other. One and a half. That's right. So who's the half, the guy or the girl? Yeah, you know, I guess it depends on who's smaller or the dog. Oh, that's true. Okay, <laughs> that works too. Yep. So this one is called Morpho 1P. It's based on our flagship tent, Morpho 2P. And it uses two low pressure air beams. And do you want to pump it up? Yeah. No, I want you to grab that and okay. let's try it. So how easy is this to do if it's really easy. Um, it takes about a minute to set up the tent. And a minute. Yeah. As opposed to when I set up a tent, like four hours. I'm like, where does this pole go? I don't understand. Exactly. And that's what's nice. These are always in the tent. They're Velcroed in and oh, okay. they never come out. So all you do is deflate it and stuff the tent in the stuff sack. And it comes with the foot pump. There is the foot yeah. pump in the sack as well? Yeah. So that foot pump's in there? Yep. Seriously? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All of it. It's so nice. Nice. So it has, it's a lot like a bicycle tire. So it has an inner polyurethane bladder in here. Mm -hmm. And if you can see this little thin bladder. Oh, yeah. Okay. And then this outer sheath is sailcloth. And it's what they say um, dimensionally stable. So it doesn't have any give and it gives a shape to the air beam. It also protects it. So it has why don't we pump it up and let's actually show them how fast okay. they can do it. So you just snap this on, and I'm going to have you do it. Okay. Can I give you the mic? Sure. Okay, so it's just pump it like this? Yep, just keep stepping on it. It won't let you overinflate it. And you'll get to a point where, like, no more air will go in, and you'll know that it's inflated. And it's not hard. No. <laughs> I can do this. <laughs> and it takes, how long do you think I've been going? Five seconds, maybe? Five, ten seconds? And just keep and going. And it, it won't... I mean, the shape, it's going to stay the way it's supposed to. Yes. So absolutely. how do you know when you're done? It'll get to a point where you can't put any more air in it. I think I'm kind of getting there. Keep going. A little bit more? Oh, yeah, definitely. Really? Mm-hmm. How does my dance look? It looks good. I feel like I'm doing it's some sort of dance. It's a good thing you wore your, your pretty but comfortable shoes. I know. They are yeah. kind of cute, huh? Okay, yeah. I think we're... So, yeah. Yeah, we're done. Oh, that's so... 
easy. Yeah. Are you kidding me? And this is a much bigger air beam than this one. So this one inflates even faster. Really? Mm -hmm. So this one was for the two people tent? Yes. Ah. Now that is a piece of cake. Now do you know who actually would really like this? My morning show co-host, Carolyn. Mm -hmm. She's a total wuss. Love you, Carolyn, <laughs> but you're a total wuss. Now we can go camping together. She refuses to go. Really? Absolutely refuses. But she might go knowing that the tent setup is really really super easy. easy super easy and it's fun like kids enjoy it you know it's kind of nice to try to get kids into the outdoors and, and put them can, to work yeah and they can enjoy setting this up and everything's there so it's not like you're going to forget your poles and if you ever did it's so much easier to repair in the backcountry than trying to use a uh, pole sleeve and duct tape and it's what about the one question is though how sturdy is it once it's up it's inflated mm -hmm. is it going to stay is it going to withstand the weather Absolutely. It can take about a 70 degree temperature change. And so, you know, a lot of times you set up your tent during the night, you sleep, you wake up, you leave it for the day and it's been super hot all day and you come back, it's not going to lose air pressure. And it's only six to eight PSI in here. Okay. So, um, and it can withstand, I think up to like 20 or 50 PSI. And it's sturdy. I mean, when you're pushing on this, I guarantee you yes. that feels really, really strong. It doesn't feel like it's gonna, you're going to get blown over in a storm. You hear it's just full of air. People are probably like, what? Right. Is it just going to blow away? Probably not at all. Do you stake it down as well? Yes. So it's a non-freestanding tent, so you stake it out. Okay. And, you know, going back to, like, how strong it is, it's like a bicycle tire. And, you know, we roll on bicycle tires. It's the same concept. Nice. And this air beam is two and a half times stronger than a traditional aluminum pole, which sounds really weird until you see it. But if you had an aluminum pole in the same arc and you measured the amount of force it takes to push the air beam down six inches versus a pole six inches, this air beam is two and a half times stronger. Wow. It's really good in high winds. Wow. It can bounce down and pop back up without breaking. Wow. Yeah. Okay, now one last question before we wrap things up. Because of this new technology, is it going to run your prices up big time? Um, you know, it's a little bit more expensive than your traditional tent because of the technology that's involved. Um, but it's still in a reasonable price range. The two-person tent is $429, and I think <laughs> this one is like $387, I want to say. We won't quote you. It's okay. <laughs> in case you're wrong, we won't quote you. But okay. you know what? It's going to withstand. It's durable, yeah. and it's going to make your life so much easier when you're camping. I'm 100% sold. Guaranteed. <laughs> I honestly, I love a tent, but I hate more than anything setting it up. Yeah. So this is huge for me. Kate, it was so nice to talk to you. If they want to find out more information on Nemo, where do they go? It's NemoEquipment.com. There you go. Easy enough. Just like the fish. Isn't that's right. his name, right? Yeah, Nemo, Nemo, right? Nemo, yeah. Okay. All of a sudden, I'm like, yeah. is that his name? <laughs> Think of the fish, and you'll find Nemo Equipment online. Right. NemoEquipment.com it is. All right, we're taking a short break, and when we come back, so much more from the Outdoor Retailer Show. I'm a little tired, but I'm still going. Yeah. There's still a lot to see. We'll be back. Stay tuned.